Alright, here it is. HT Logistics 3434 book. The only thing you guys who don't know, most of you guys I would assume when you're watching this video knows who Big Chris is or you know who HT Logistics is or who you know whose channel that is. Let me let me say that. Um I recently came across this guy's channel after I started working at VL, you know what I mean? And I started doing more research, more research into a lot of different things. Um, and basically I came across this guy's channel. Um, and I, I must say like, he has a, I think he has, uh, if I'm not mistaken with his channel, I think he has like 400 something videos and he has like a playlist, um, the load ready series, all that stuff. Um, I've dug into his channel real deep because I just discovered his channel recently and I watch a lot of his videos um, I would suggest if you are new to trucking you know what I mean if you're new to trucking and you're looking to you know get some knowledge whether how trucking works or how freight moves or different you know a lot of different things learn about trucks watch his auction videos all that stuff you know what I mean? Um, he has a lot of different information um, on his channel, you know what I mean? And I dug deep into it. And then after a while, he started promoting his book. He wrote a book. Um, and it's basically a guide that um, takes you from being a company driver to an owner operator. So even if you're experienced and you guys don't know who this is or what this channel is about, I personally, I watch his channel. Um, and uh, I learn a lot from his channel and no matter how much I know already or no matter how much I know or how little I know or how old I am or how young I am I always like to learn you know what I mean um, there are some things that he say that I don't personally don't agree with you know what I mean but at the same time just because I don't agree it doesn't mean that I still can learn from um, from what he's, what he's basically saying so this is the book you know what I mean very simple it's not like you know the the book that you would expect or whatever but it has a lot of information in there and this is basically you know all that he basically preaches in his video his videos you know what i mean he talks about um financing trucks um like, well like i said there's some things that i personally don't agree with you know what I mean? Some things, because everybody's situation is different. Not everybody is gonna, is like, you know, yeah, he's like, he's gonna tell you to save your money, save, you know, try to say, save 25 grand. I'm not saying you can't save $25,000, but not everybody is like, you know, a financial situation is gonna take them a really long time to get it done. And even though he's, in some of his videos, he tells you that, um, you know trucking is not going nowhere owner operator side is not going anywhere you should rush into it you should take your time i agree but there's many ways to many ways to to do things you don't necessarily have to take the route um that he's saying you know what i mean but like he always said the opinion you should follow should always be your own um and we use a prime example he believes that you should not lease because it's you know it's this that and the third um, he will tell you to go company and work company and save the money and all that. Like I disagree because like here at VL that we're working, you make an average of about seventeen to two thousand five hundred dollars weekly, which is great money. The truck makes that money because it's ten ninety nine. You basically got to pay your taxes, but you can rack up some money very fast with that kind of money. Yes, and if you go leasing, you could potentially make double that while the freight rates are up because that's another thing that i want to talk about um most of the experienced drivers that i'm learning from they're saying the freights are up right now and it's going to go down soon um that's kind of why i leased before going buying going to buy a, um my own truck because i wanted to use this as a stepping stone to learn the lanes on the company's dime um basically to learn the lanes um to learn how to manage you know money money management get me in the rhythm of um paying my own taxes all that because you're gonna be paying your taxes if you're on the company side also so 
you know what I mean it's basically the way I'm using it it's getting me in shape to, to be a successful owner operator everybody's experience is different you know kudos to them um, so yeah uh, you know he talks about the saving plan he's like no rush um, why not to finance you know a lot of things inside here a lot of different information uh, let me see what else he has no excuses he says build your team talk about basically having a mechanic when you get your own truck i'm not gonna go into it because i believe that you know you should support each other i'm not forcing anybody or i'm not necessarily promoting this guy's book or whatever the case is you know what i mean but i believe that you guys you should, you should make the investment um in yourself so i'm just basically giving you guys a review of what the book is about you guys can go purchase the book um and see what's inside for yourself but i'm just basically sharing my uh, thoughts on there finding a mechanic after you get your own truck or you should build your team he's just basically setting you up for success giving you like a plan a strategy how to execute it you know what i mean what i'm personally doing i'm not going to really say what my plans are on here i'm just going to do stuff and you guys are going to see it i'm going to share what i what i've done when it's already done you know what i mean but it's like the way i'm building my thing is uh i'm taking a little bit that i learned from him because like i said there's stuff that he says that i don't personally agree with it makes sense but i don't agree with it so i take a little bit that i learned from him i take a little bit that i learned from this guy that guy um call me cool is another channel that i personally watch um that dude bro his his energy is you know is just positive and that's what i like about that guy's channel you know what i mean i learn a lot from watching um his videos also there's other youtubers out there that i listen to i listen to positive content bro i can't take the negative 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 and you know what i mean um so i try to take a little bit from this guy this guy my own common sense you know different 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 thing people and i put it together and i make it work for me i have a plan i have a strategy i am working my plan and i'm making my plan work just like what you know hd would say you know what i mean so talks about the mechanic looking for a good carrier basically you know like you're working here at vl i would say vl is a, is a good carrier but i mean there's a plenty of other ones he tells you how to find them where you need to go what to look for the questions to ask um you know all that stuff um finding the right freight broker that's something that i wanted to learn about also so that's good you know what i mean and uh talks about specs on the truck and he talks about knowing your cents per mile your cost per mile all that stuff you know what i mean um so basically like when you're leasing or when you're leasing or you're being an owner operator like how you're operating your business um how much it is when you should move a truck learning the lanes that's basically what i'm doing with the leasing learning the lanes doing it on a company time instead of jumping out there to go buy a truck and then learning you know that way so um with that being said you know what i mean he talks about that stuff specs on the truck you know what i mean different ratios and specs like the type of terrain that you're going to be running how you're going to be running if you're running local if you're going to be running state to state east coast whatever it is he talks about the type of truck that you should you know you should get um he talks about automatic versus manual what trailer do you want tips on dry van um tips for reefer a lot of different information bro i ain't finna lie um he talks about you know the lease he criticizes the lease and all that stuff you know what i mean why he feels like you shouldn't lease um the way I see it personally, um, especially here at VL, you know, making 2,000 to 2,500 bucks a week consistently um, on the company side or potentially go on the lease side where you could maybe double that some some weeks, double that or, you know I mean, I don't really want to put too many numbers out there because everybody gets in their feelings when numbers are being caused. So I, I'm not really going to talk much about too much numbers, but it's like he's out i'm gonna make this or am i gonna double that and I, that's why i decided to go that's a part of my decision why i decided to go lease because you're still gonna pay your taxes anyway um but you know keep your your mind right your energy right your positive keep a positive vibes you know what i mean um 
your overhead keeping your overhead low basically like all your bills and all that stuff try to keep everything low going into the trucking because it can make or break you a lot of people get into the game invest a lot into it and then before you know it they're out of business um talks about how to get a truck to a million miles tips for the motor maintaining the motor tips on tires overall versus rebuilds um overall versus in frame like it tells you the difference what it means to get load ready recap versus virgin tires bro there's so many in so much information inside this book i ain't finna lie you can learn a lot from it if you if you if i believe that if you don't know anything absolutely anything about trucks and you like you just developed an interest into it um and you wanted to learn that's not the right way but it works you wanted to learn a lot about trucks you should purchase this book i think it costs maybe like about i think it cost me like 20 bucks out the door um ship i think it's really like 12 bucks or something like that for the book and then after taxes and shipping it was like 22 or something like that depending on where you live i guess i live in you know florida so that's what it cost me so, so to spend 20 bucks bro for the knowledge that you're gonna gain for it i think that um i think that it's good you know what i mean you guys could make the investment and go check his channel out um and learn learn some things you know what i mean so that's my review on the um on ht logistics 3434 and if you ever do see this video mr H, thank you for you know all the information and the guidance i still do watch your channel and check your videos out you know what i mean thank you guys very much again for watching another one of my videos i have more videos coming up more about veal and what's been going on um thank you for everybody that's been subscribing to the channel and thank you guys very much for the positive comments um in regards to my journey so far i'll see you guys in the next one